Hello folks, this video is dedicated to enums or enumerated data type. We use this data type to enforce data integrity in the human readable format. And this is not surprising why Java, PostgreSQL and Yuga by DB support enums out of the box. In this video, I'll show you how to convert Java enums to the PostgreSQL ones using the generic way. That way works for all of the popular frameworks including Hibernate, Spring Data, Quarkus, and Micronaut. So let's not waste a minute. Let's go. All right, folks, let me show you what I've already prepared for our experiments. Uh, we've got the pizza order entity class. It has three fields, ID, status, and the order time. What's interesting today is the order status, which is uh, the Java enum data type. You can set four different statuses for a pizza order. The first one is ordered, then baking, delivering, and yummy yummy in my tummy. On the database side of the things, we created a corresponding pizza order table that has the same three fields you'll find in the entity class, ID, status, and order time. Moreover, we created a similar enum data type on the database side, and that enum type defines the same four possible statuses, ordered, baking, delivering, and yummy yummy in my tummy. Before we run a few experiments on the Java side, let's uh, run a few tests on the database end. I'm using Yuga by DB today, but everything that I'm going to show you works for PostgreSQL. Why? Because Yuga by DB is built on Postgres. So this is my table, pizza order. Uh, let's make sure that it's empty. All right, it's empty. And now let's try to insert the first order. Insert into pizza order. We just need to insert ID and status and values are uh, the first order. And let the status be ordered. Okay, wonderful. Everything is here. And uh, as you can see, I was inserting this enum data type using the textual representation. And after that, you might have an assumption that, all right, if I want to insert a Java enum into the database, all I need to do is just to pass a string, right? Or like varchar. Let's check if that's the case. Uh, going back to my pizza order entity class, uh, let's use the enumerated annotation of JPA and instruct my JPA provider to pass this enum as a string to the underlying database. And next, I am created enum test. We need to finish it. Uh, before every test starts, we are going to delete all of the records from the database. And then we need to implement this method. So let's run this test right now. I just want to make sure that uh, it connects to Yuga by DB and deletes uh, the table. All right, doing this. Connect it. And now if you go back to Yuga by DB, select everything, it's empty because we deleted. We deleted all of the records. So right now let's implement our test. Uh, I want to insert the first order. We have this pizza order entity class. Okay, and let's say that order ID is going to be two and the order status, we want it to be what? Delivery, why not? And after that, we need to save this to our repository. And I'm expecting that this method will be executed successfully. All right, starting this test. The test starts, but then fails. Let's take a look at the exception. It said that Postgres failed to insert this record because the status column that we were passing from the Java side uh, is not in the proper format. It needs to be in the order status type of Postgres equivalent, Yuga by DB. But we passed varchar, and that's the issue, right? So we need to fix this somehow. And there are multiple ways on how you can deal with this. And it, and it depends on your ORM framework. There are different ways how to deal with this on Spring Data side, Quarkus on Micronode. But I want to show you a generic way. 
So how to do that generically? Let's go back to uh, our database session. All right, and our solution is the cast operator of PostgreSQL. So what that operator does, it accepts from the Java site, from the JDBC driver, our Java enumerated type in the varchar representation, and then it's going to convert it automatically to the order status type that is defined at the database level. And all of that is going to happen implicitly and automatically for us. All we need to do is just go ahead and create this cast operator. So the operator is created. And now let's give another try to our test that failed before. Starting the test. Wonderful. And you can see that the test passed right now. We managed to insert the pizza order. We provided order time, status, and the ID. And the status was provided as a Java enum. And then what happened? It was converted by Hibernate, by my JP uh, implementation to the string. And then the JDBC driver mapped this to varchar. And eventually the database converted that varchar to the order status. Let's take a look at the database. Once again, I want to make sure that uh, the order is there. Yep, it's here and all is fine. It's stored as delivering exactly as we requested on the Java side. All right, now you know how to convert Java enums to the PostgreSQL and YugabyDB enumerated data type. And I've got a few action items for you. First, in the description of this video, you will find an article that explains how to use this way of conversion for your favorite framework, let it be Spring Data, Micronaut, Quartos, or even plain JDBC API. And second, if you find this information useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get notified about the future content on the topic of distributed SQL. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.